Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Instant Games, and this is part 34 of Need Speed Must Wine 2005, the challenge series. We're launching this event, what, 3 minute 45, we've got to beat this challenge. If you haven't watched part 33, you need to, it is just insane. Oh, and a Mitsubishi Lancer, evil. We might not be able to do this. I mean, it's got to be doable, because otherwise it wouldn't be a challenge. Even EA wouldn't be that heartless. But yeah. That was a drift. Which obviously the uh, the Lancer Evo is known for being quite good at drifting, I believe. I know it's a rally car. Oh, it was a rally car. Um move out the way thank you <laughs> yeah this this one might not be possible yeah this one seems difficult oh no there we go is this the one no it isn't right you can go through not a good idea because you will flip yeah, not a good idea to do that. I'm probably going to have to restart this entire thing because that failed. But you basically have to because uh, there'd be no way of getting to this next toll booth without doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing this in 20 seconds. I mean, I'm going to see how far I can get, but... That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere close. Right. <laughs> now we sort of know the way that this goes. I'm trying to get a perfect launch, and I always fail. My little tip, if you can call it a tip, is uh, when you're doing that, do not do full nitrous. Because you always want some for later. And you want it to recharge, basically. The controller is vibrating like crazy. That I was going to say that person's going to turn in front of me, which luckily they didn't. Can I make this corner without... I mean, thank God this car can drift, right? Right. I mean, we've only got... Right. You, We have to... There we go. See, that's what the sort of thing that we need. We've cut that entire thing without, like, going crazy out of control, basically. And now there's going to be a cop around here. Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, it's level 5 cops as well. Fun. Now, luckily, because it's a race and not an actual thing, they aren't that crazy, I believe. But I could be wrong on that. They will still try and slow you down, but then they're only like level one. I think that's the thing with like this game. Input like when you're doing stuff like this, they're only like level one cops. They're not mental. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I'm not cutting through there because it's a bad idea. Even though I probably should have actually. Yeah, I remember this one being quite a pain when I was younger. Now I remember it. It really is quite a bad challenge, this. I can't remember where, where the next toll booth is.
Also, it's amazing how these guys know where to go. Almost through, like, the invisible wall, but, you know. Not invisible, like... It's not really invisible, because you can see it, but, like, you know what I mean. Like, you can drive through it. It's not... It's not a real wall. Right, okay, come on. Get out of the way. Oh. Hell yeah, look how quick we did that. I mean, it's going to be... I didn't even know it might have been possible to actually do that that quick. Why did I have such trouble with this as a kid? I mean, I had it on the PS2, so... When I originally attempted these. When I was younger. So... I really don't see what the problem would be because the PS2 controller is a lot smaller than the uh, 360 or even the original Xbox controller, so it shouldn't really have been an issue for my hands, because now I obviously have large hands. As an adult. <laughs> right, so that was that. Part 35? I've, yeah, is the next one. But I don't know when that's going to be, but we're going to... It's that challenge. Bounty of a million. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> we're getting close to the end here. And it's getting a little bit tough. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Insane Gamers. And ta -ra.